Alright folks, so in this video, I'm going to discuss uh, some of the biggest issues uh, surrounding the uh, Muslim world. Now, before all of you get triggered, let's all be honest, a lot of people just uh, don't want to say it, but uh, we all know it's true. There's a huge issue in the Muslim world, especially the issue surrounding a violent uh, middle-aged young man causing all kinds of issues uh, worldwide. Now, uh, I've been to Europe twice, okay, uh, back in 2009, 2010. This is part of a high school trip. I've been to uh, the Vatican. It's pretty incredible. All of you guys uh, should go and visit uh, at least once in your lifetime. And uh, I've been to uh, Greece, Italy, and Spain. And I saw an insane number of uh, migrants all across Europe. And now they call them uh, migrants, but in reality, they're just uh, illegal aliens. And have you guys noticed the pattern that's emerging amongst these uh, illegal aliens? And this is true with uh, all the illegal aliens crossing the uh, southern U.S.-Mexico border as well, is that over 90% of these illegal aliens, all of them are young military-aged males, okay? There's hardly any women, there's hardly any children. Do you know what is happening? Okay, this is why I'm bringing up this topic. This is the biggest issue. See, people are so woke and so indoctrinated, they never get to the root of the issue. Okay, imagine this. Many people always tell me, oh, imagine uh, if you're living as a man in the Middle East, you have life on easy mode. You can have 10 wives and have 50 different children. You can sleep uh, with as many women as you want. See, that's where you're wrong, okay? Think about this. A very small percentage of men throughout history has ever got the privilege to reproduce. Almost every single woman got to reproduce. Why am I bringing this up? No, for example, like just use some logic, some common sense. They say that something like one out of every 200 people that's living today, 8.1 billion people on earth, one out of every 200 is, is directly related to, to Genghis Khan. So, I mean, this guy probably slept well with something like 10,000 women. So if one king, one conqueror was able to sleep with 10,000 women, do you know what that means? That means that uh, 9,999 men died alone. They died either as a slave, as a prisoner of war on the battlefield, or they got their balls off, chopped off, and they became a eunuch in the imperial haram. China had tens of millions of these. So the vast majority of men never got to reproduce. That's why uh, the Middle Ages, the ancient times, it was so dangerous. So because think about it, in the Middle East, only the extremely rich and powerful men has the privilege to reproduce. Now, if some uh, Saudi prince uh, has uh, 10 wives, that means that uh, there's uh, nine guys out there that will never have the opportunity to mate. And this is what's so dangerous about this ideology. This is so what's so dangerous about feminism because the entire world is starting to look at the, like the Middle East. That's why you have all these uh, young military-aged males because they have zero aspect for dating, for marriage, for having children. So they say, oh, might as well go to another part of the world and uh, try to destroy everything there. I have to keep bringing up uh, this point. You have to accept biological reality, okay? The biological reality is that when you look at the violent people amongst the two uh, sexes, the two genders, okay? So it's roughly even. So there's a slightly higher percentage of men who are more likely to be violent, but it's very even. It's maybe 52% for men versus 48% for women. However, the top 1% of the most violent people on earth are all men. We're talking about uh, Adolf Hitler. We're talking about the Benito Mussolini. We're talking about the Joseph Stalin. We're talking about Pol Pot. Every single one of the most ruthless, of the most vicious dictators throughout history have all been men. And uh, this is why there's a huge problem in the Middle East. And also something that's extremely important to remember. When I say the Muslim world, there's something like 1.8 billion Muslims. Most of the Muslims are actually not Middle Eastern. I'm referring to the religion as a whole. See, a lot of Muslims actually look like me. This is what I mean. Uh, people are getting literally retarded. Our education system has failed us. Do you know what's the country with the most number of Muslims in the world? Number one is Indonesia. See, people in Indonesia, they look just like me. They're ethnic Asians, okay? In Indonesia, there's over 240 million, over 240 million Muslims. Over 99% of them are Sunni Muslims. Now, let's say, imagine what happens uh, if you try to bring uh, millions of uh, Shia Muslims into the country. What do you think is going to happen? A massive civil war is going to break out and millions of people will get murdered. So don't tell me that uh, there's no problem, uh, you know, in the Muslim community. Because uh, even their own ethnic groups, uh, they constantly turn against each other. And uh, this is where the biggest issue lies. You can look, look this up, okay? This is according to Pew Research, okay? The number of incel men, 
Okay, this is a new Gen Z term. Incel means involuntarily celibate. So the men uh, under age of 30, that is having zero sex, okay? I'm over 30 now. I, I mentioned this before. I'm a 31-year-old virgin. Okay? So the number of uh, incel men under age of 30 in the United States has tripled in the last 10 years alone. Has tripled, okay? They say that something like uh, one out of every three men living in the United States under the age of 30 is a virgin. So this is where our world is turning into. This is a global trend where a very, very small percentage of men is sleeping around with all the women. And if you look at all the data, it says something like that under the age of 30, 90% of all women are sexually active. So it's very obvious. They're all sleeping with the same guys. And uh, this is a huge problem. Any society throughout history that has produced a massive number of young, involuntarily celibate men will cause a huge issue. And this is happening worldwide. Okay, in next video, I'm going to bring up the topic where, of, uh, where feminism has caused a massive gender war that is leading the country to its uh, destruction. And uh, their ethnic groups are literally going ex extinct. And the media is not covering this. It's a shame. I will cover this next week. But uh, I want you to think about it. It's only normal for a guy out there you know, to possibly looking for an intimate partner, to start a family, to procreate, to find a wife. This is only a natural biologic instinct. And there's nothing wrong with that. And for the men in the Middle East, 90% of them will never get the chance to mate, okay? People always say, oh, men own all the wealth and men do this, have all the power. What the hell do I have to do with Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos, okay? You're looking at a tiny, tiny substrata of extremely hyper-successful men and you label all of that men to category. The reality is that uh, the vast majority of men around the world cannot find a partner while the top 1% of men is sleeping around with all the women. Woman. And uh, this is why society is so dangerous. This is why so many dynasties were toppled in China because the emperor always had a haram of thousands of women. That means thousands of peasants never have the chance to procreate. So they're pissed. They say, oh, look at this guy. He's sleeping with 2,000 women. I'm working my hardest and I cannot even find a single date. And they say, you know, fuck it. I'm going to destroy the entire world. I'm going to start a rebellion. I'm going to start a civil war and I'm going to kill millions of people because there's no point of me working hard in life because I will never ever find a wife. I will never be able to have children. I will never be able to uh, continue my bloodline. So what is the point of living? Let's just destroy the world. And uh, this is the end goal of feminism. This is where you're leading to. And if you don't think it's bad enough, you'll find more about next week when I discuss the feminism gender war that is completely destroying a country. And uh, to all the uh, 1.8 billion Muslims, out in the world and you want to make the argument you say that okay most Muslims are not violent see that is the issue okay most uh, Germans were not violent most Italians were not violent however Hitler was extremely violent however Mussolini was extremely violent and brutal most Russians are not violent but uh, Joseph Stalin was you no know, on another world level insane Let's say that, you know, 90% of the Muslims, they just, you know, go to work, they go to school, maybe uh, they'll watch a movie or TV show, read some books, and uh, they go on their lives as normal, right? I, I agree. Most Muslims are not violent. However, when you have this uh, radical ideology where only the rich and powerful man gets to procreate with dozens of wives and they can make 50 or 100 or even 200 babies, uh, while 80 to 90% of the men never have the chance to procreate, Right? Most of the men will end up depressed. However, the 1% of the most violent men, this uh, is where they bring out uh, their worst. They say that, you know what? I have no chance of ever finding a woman in my life. You know, I might as well join a gang. I might as well join ISIS. And I'm going to form a, a terrorist group. And I'm going to destroy the entire world. This is why China has the uh, social credit score policy. Because... Just like everybody else, most Chinese people are not violent. However, if you just uh, group together the top 1% of the most violent Chinese people, that's over 14 million people. We have a country with such a massive population. There has to be some kind of control. There has to be some kind of conformity. And uh, this is why China has installed all of the CCTV cameras. This is chi why China has uh, these policies in place. It's to disencourage uh, bad behavior. Because when it's late at night, you're not supposed to be going out to uh, hang out at these bad places. You're supposed to be in bed. You got to go to bed early so you can wake up early next day and uh, get back to work. You're not supposed to be out uh, getting drunk at a bar at uh, 2 a.m. in the morning. When you have such a large population, there needs to be some kind of control. This is how China controls the top 1% of this uh, most violent people. And just look at uh, what the Muslim population is doing in Europe. Look at Sweden. 
the communities uh, where the Muslims live have completely lost control. There's so much murder, rape, and drug trafficking that, that the police in Sweden have completely lost control. They have to bring the military. The exact same thing is happening in Germany. Because this system produces tens of millions of young involuntarily celibate men, so they just bring their radical ideologies to another country in order to destroy it. This is a very, very dark and a very, very dangerous concept. And uh, honestly, the entire world is turning into this. Well, there is. I just don't think it's possible. We need to bring back uh, monogamy. By monogamy, I don't mean one partner at a time. I mean one partner for life. That's what I mean. That's the only way you can restore balance. But uh, unfortunately, uh, many uh, modern women have lost their mind. There's a concept called the hypergamy. So many women who are in real life who are mid, they're much happier sharing the same top tier man with 20 other women versus actually uh, dating someone that's on their level. And this is why we have this system because uh, it's happening worldwide. It's the exact same thing in China, in Taiwan, in South Korea, in Japan, where the vast majority of men are virgins into their 30s and 40s that they can never find a partner. However, all of the top 1% income earners, all of those men have a truckload of women. And uh, this concept is extremely uh, self-destructive. It's going to lead to the rise of desperate, lonely, violent men. And uh, these men are going to destroy the world. I will come back to this topic.